CBS 42 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple shows us how the economy is affecting these businesses' bottom lines. A lot of small and family owned businesses in Alabama, including here at Renfro's Market, have either had to raise their prices or make other changes to deal with the economic challenges. Store manager Clark Solman says gas prices have made shipping in products more expensive, which has resulted in higher prices. Because you can't buy something in on one price and sell lower than what you're buying it in at. He says he's hopeful things improve, but doesn't see signs of that yet. I still want to say, I want to think the things will. Prices will go down, but right now it doesn't look that way. Solman's is not alone. According to the state director of Alabama's National Federation of Independent Business, lots of business owners right now are concerned with the economy's direction. I think things likely will decline some more just from what I'm hearing from small business owners. So we, we are not seeing the light at the end of this tunnel anytime soon. Elabash's group represents some 7,000 businesses in the state. She says rising prices, gas costs, inventory shortages, and challenges hiring have been hard on business. From, you know, the beauty shop to the car repair shop to the local dentist office and all across the board, I'm hearing of the issues concerned with inventory, cost, gas prices, and of course labor shortages. Elabash says it's good the state has a low unemployment rate at 2.6 percent, but getting more people in the workforce could help with hiring. Currently, the state's labor participation rate is about 57 percent of those between 16 and 64. Now, Alabash says the legislature did do some good last session by passing some tax breaks for small businesses, but from a consumer level, she says the best thing you can do is shop small. In Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Maddie